News in Brief, brought to you daily by Naked News. I'm Ayla Adams. And I'm Victoria Sinclair. Here's what's making headlines. After Newt Gingrich's victory in South Carolina, the former House Speaker has now pulled ahead in Florida. The latest poll from Insider Advantage says Gingrich has taken the lead by a full eight points. Worse still for Mitt Romney, the same poll says these numbers are part of a larger trend, suggesting Republicans are moving toward Gingrich on a national level. The U.S. military has had its share of close calls with Iran lately. The most recent altercation coming this past weekend when the USS Abraham Lincoln traveled through the Strait of Hormuz. As a show of defiance, the aircraft carrier deliberately ignored threats from Iranian personnel to shut down the high-profile shipping lane if U.S. ships sailed through. Syria has refused demands from the Arab League for President Bashar al-Assad to relinquish power to his deputy. Meeting in Cairo, the League also called for Syrian officials to form a coalition government with the country's opposition. UN figures say over 5,000 people have died in the past 10 months due to crackdowns on protesters. The latest death toll for the Costa Concordia cruise ship disaster now stands at 13. Meanwhile, disgraced captain Francesco Scatino has stated that sail-by salutes, like the one that brought down his ship, are regularly requested by management. He also claims this practice is particularly encouraged during local holidays as a way to bolster publicity for the cruise line. Here's some promising news for those of you fretting about the economy. Millions of people across Asia are celebrating the Lunar New Year. The New Year festivities began on Monday and will continue right through to February 6th. And here's the great part. The calendar has officially moved into the Year of the Dragon. In Chinese culture, the dragon is a sign of success and future prosperity. The Super Bowl is always a huge event for the casinos in Las Vegas, and some predict that this year's Pats Giants rematch could break wagering records for Nevada sports books. The line went up late Sunday night, and the Patriots opened as three point favorites. The last time these two played in the Super Bowl, Vegas casinos lost $2.6 million, the most ever. And we all know who won that one. And just like that, you're up to date on all the day's news. Be sure to come back tomorrow for more of the latest. See you soon.